Hey guys, I got a couple of emails uh, requesting some more information about return and uh, the actual idea of recapitulation. So yes, it is a very tough assignment and uh, one thing that I did forget and my apologies for that to mention is that I am basically looking for effort here and uh, this is how we do it, right? So if you take a classical composition, the first movement of all of the pieces that I gave you <clears throat> were sonata form, right? So in, in one of them, I think there, there were more than one movement. So what you want to do is you want to time the whole piece, right? From beginning to end and look at more or less the three quarter point, right? So we're looking here at the timing of this piece, right? So this piece is 541. And I believe this might've been one of the assignments that I gave you. I don't know if it was this particular recording. So let's go ahead and start. It actually, in this case, it does not give you much of introduction. It actually starts on theme A. Now, when it comes to classical music, and we're going to study this later, they actually consider it not just one theme, but a theme group, right? So it starts at, at the very beginning, and it starts right off the bat. Mozart does not give us much of a chance to, to get used to anything. He just starts. going to embark in what is called a transition, right? This is time in the music in which it feels like it's almost thematic. It's not really a theme. You feel more than anything that you're actually traveling. So you're going from one theme to another. So you have this connective bridge that is moving you from one point to another. we actually have theme group B, right? So that's a completely different section, but there's no return yet. We've had A, now we're moving on to B. There's a repeat of theme B of sorts. Now at this point, we have what we call a retransition. So we're actually going back to theme A. So you have theme A or group theme A, then you have theme group A, then you actually have transition to theme group B, and now we have a retransition, something that takes you back to the beginning, because it's going to repeat both things. And that's at uh, mark, time marker 130, right? And then, and believe it or not, what you're looking for in a recapitulation sounds exactly like the very beginning of the piece, and also this repeat of the main theme. So it could be misleading, right? So what I told you earlier stands, right? Make sure that you are more or less at the three quarter mark of the piece, and then you just give or take are going to look for that return. But let's, let's actually play it out. This is all theme group A, right? Okay. 
Now we're actually transitioning to theme group B. It's particularly in this area that you should feel that we are traveling, right? That we are moving from one area to another. This is the transition from B to what we call the development, which is little bits and pieces, fragments of melody where the composer is going to show you how great he or she is at creating music, right? So you're not going to hear a complete theme there. And in this case, it's eine kleine Nachtmusik, which in German translates to a little night music. So he's not going to make that development very long. Some composers make those developments very, very long. This is time marker about give or take 316. If we could compare that to the beginning of theme A, very similar, but not exactly the same note. Right, so that's 316. Let's hear the beginning real quick. Now we compare that to 316. Somber, it's lower. That was the moment of the recapitulation at 3.47, right? So on a piece that lasts 5 minutes and 41 seconds, at 3.47 we find the recapitulation. And that is give or take, if you look at the timing of it all, right? This is more or less half of it, give or take, right? So just a little bit further, it's not quite exactly three-quarter mark, but if we just look at a little bit of, of the time that was after the recording, we are pretty much on schedule. It's not an exact science, but what you're using here is you're looking for a three-quarter mark, and you're looking, all right, what sounds like the very first thing that I heard, and you're going to approximate what you're putting in there. It's not an exact science. Every piece is going to be different, right? So what I'm looking for is for you to actually practice trying to hear for this. You can get it wrong. You can get it right. What I'm looking for is actually your effort in doing this. And I'm sorry if this gave you any grief. Um, it's supposed to be a fun assignment. Again, I, I hope it was not too nerve-wracking for you guys. Good luck.